Hey guys, welcome to another exciting, entertaining, and action-packed vlog! Today, I'm gonna be talking about my glasses! The unsubscribe button is down below. I usually don't do product reviews unless that product is unique and life-changing, which these glasses are. And these aren't normal glasses. These are the Bose Frames, which I got several months ago. And when I started wearing these in photos and videos, I got several comments about how ugly they are and that my old glasses looked better than the new ones. And I agree, these are ugly as hell. But what they lack in style, they make up for in tech. So what tech do these things possess? And why do they need software updates? Well, because they're basically a pair of headphones. They have speakers and a microphone built in, and connect to my phone via Bluetooth, and I can listen to my music discreetly anywhere I please. The main reason I love these is because when I go out, I want to only have to remember to bring the least amount of stuff possible. Which is why my wallet is stuck to the back of my phone, and why I wanted a smart lock, so I don't have to remember to bring keys. Before I got these glasses, there were many times where I wanted to listen to music out in public, but I forgot my AirPods at home because I didn't think I would need them. Or it's just because I forgot to bring them. And I'll never not have the ability to listen to music discreetly out in public ever again, since I'm pretty sure I can't leave the house without my glasses. Plus, I don't have to take them in and out of my ears or put them in and out of their case. And if you manage to somehow lose these, you have problems. Remember how I said these things were life-changing? Well, if you thought I was exaggerating, ever since I got these, my AirPods have been sitting in a drawer collecting dust. I know! Shocking! The guy that has a custom AirPods shirt and went to an AirPods meetup ditched them for some ugly glasses. Now I call AirPods users broke! Actually, I bought these things at Best Buy when they were on sale for $170, so they are actually cheaper than AirPod Pros. But these Bose frames didn't start their life out as prescription glasses, though. They had some glass lenses at first, which you can punch out, and then I brought the frames to an optical center, and they made custom prescription lenses for them. The prescription lenses were $150, so the total is... AirPod owners be broke! There are some more expensive models that look better and have better battery life, but I chose this model because it weighed less, and the sides didn't look as thick as the other ones. Will I completely abandon AirPods? Probably not. They're still useful for their active noise cancellation in places like an airplane or a BTS concert. As much as I suck these things off, this isn't a paid YouTube sponsorship, so I can actually say stuff I dislike about them. First of all, a lot of people are going to complain about this, but it's another device that you have to charge at night. This I really don't care about at all, because I'm already used to it. Plus, I don't use them every day, and when they're turned off, they use barely any power, so I only have to remember to charge them on days where I use them heavily. Next, a lot of my friends criticize them, because since they're open-ear headphones, they think everyone around you can hear your music. Unless you're in a dead quiet room, have the volume up beyond comfort, or there's someone standing uncomfortably close next to you, no one will hear that big time rush is coming out of your glasses. Social distancing is still a thing, you know. Other people will probably complain about the absolute zero lack of noise cancellation since nothing goes in your ears, but I like it. Since you're still very aware of your surroundings while listening to your music. I was almost ran over by a forklift in Home Depot since I was using AirPod Pros. Dangerous. A serious problem I had when I first started wearing these was my ears started to hurt where the glasses made contact with them. I had the same problem with my old glasses if I wore them for too long, but these Bose frames made my ears hurt faster. And after I took them off at night and put them back on in the morning, the pain was still there and it kept on getting worse. It got so bad that I had to wrap these parts in toilet paper to ease the pain. But then I ordered these glasses slip-on covers on Amazon and that solved the problem. I have fallen asleep with these glasses and slip covers on multiple times, but when I woke up, I didn't feel a thing. I don't know if that problem was isolated to me or with these glasses, but if you have the same problem, I strongly recommend these things. There was also a problem where one of the speakers sounded broken, but when I gave it a good hit, 
the speaker fixed itself. This happened twice, but the last time it happened, it was a while ago. But if it happens again, I'm asking Bose for a replacement. Next, these things will make you look insane and that you're talking to yourself in public if you decide to use the built-in microphone for phone calls. I see this as a positive, as it'll make people avoid me. Or should I say, avoid me even more. And finally, once again, they're just ugly. Maybe it's because I'm wearing it. Nope, they're still ugly. But I still say it's one of the best purchases I ever made. I was actually considering laser eye surgery before I got these. No joke. Shout out to Dankpods for making me aware of them and saving my eyes from being brutally mutilated and burned like in that Final Destination scene. These make me excited for when or if Apple releases their own smart glasses. Maybe then I can also ditch my Apple Watch and also this white ring around my wrist. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And hopefully, there's gonna be more travel vlogs soon, since I just got this little thing. Bye!